Our story begins in 1920, when Donald Wills Douglas Sr., an MIT graduate and former engineer at Glen L. Martin Company, founded the Douglas Aircraft Company in Santa Monica, California. While initially focused on civilian aircraft, the company soon ventured into military aviation. One of the first significant military projects was the Douglas World Cruiser, which in 1924 became the first aircraft to circumnavigate the globe. Although a milestone in commercial aviation, it also demonstrated Douglas's potential in military applications, showcasing the company's ability to produce reliable and durable aircraft. This project was commissioned by the U.S. Army Air Service to test the feasibility of long-range flight and international cooperation. In the late 1930s, as global tensions rose, Douglas Aircraft Company began focusing more on military aircraft. One of their early contributions was the B-18 Bolo, developed as a bomber for the U.S. Army Air Corps. The B-18, based on the DC-2 commercial airliner, featured increased bomb load capacity and improved range, but it quickly became apparent that it would be outclassed by faster and more heavily armed aircraft. Despite its limitations, the B-18 played a vital role in the early days of World War II, conducting anti-submarine patrols and training missions. Its development marked Douglas's commitment to enhancing military capabilities. As World War II erupted, Douglas Aircraft Company swiftly transitioned to meet the demands of the war effort. One of their most iconic contributions was the C-47 Skytrain, a military variant of the DC-3. The C-47 became a workhorse for the Allied forces, known for its reliability, versatility, and capacity to transport troops and supplies across vast distances, and they played crucial roles in operations such as D-Day, where they dropped paratroopers behind enemy lines. Douglas also developed the A-20 Havoc, a twin-engine attack bomber used by the U.S. Army Air Forces and Allied nations. The A-20 was praised for its speed, maneuverability, and firepower serving in various roles including light bomber, night fighter, and intruder aircraft. And they served on multiple fronts, from Europe to the Pacific. Another pivotal aircraft was the SBD Dauntless dive bomber. The SBD Dauntless gained fame during the Battle of Midway in 1942, where its precision bombing capabilities led to the destruction of four Japanese aircraft carriers, turning the tide of the war in the Pacific. Over 5,900 SBDs were produced, and their effectiveness was a testament to Douglas's design excellence. Douglas's wartime production didn't stop there. The company also produced the B-23 Dragon, a medium bomber that served primarily in patrol and training roles, and the A-26 Invader, a light bomber that saw action from World War II through the Vietnam War. The A-26, with its speed and versatility, was particularly notable for its ability to perform both bombing and ground attack missions. After World War II, Douglas Aircraft Company faced the challenge of transitioning back to peacetime production. However, the onset of the Cold War quickly renewed the demand for military aircraft. Douglas responded with the development of the A-1 Sky Raider, a robust single-engine attack aircraft designed for close air support. The Sky Raider, affectionately known as SPAD, became renowned for its durability, heavy ordnance load, and versatility. It served extensively during the Korean and Vietnam Wars, providing close air support and rescue missions, and their ability to loiter over battlefields made them invaluable. During the Cold War, Douglas also developed the A-4 Skyhawk, a lightweight carrier-capable attack aircraft. Introduced in the mid-1950s, the Skyhawk became a staple of the US Navy and Marine Corps, known for its agility, compact size, and ability to deliver nuclear and conventional weapons. The A-4 was used extensively in the Vietnam War, where it performed a variety of roles from ground attack to aerial refueling. The A-4 Skyhawk's success was evident in its extensive use during the Vietnam War and its continued service in various air forces around the world well into the 21st century. Over 2,900 Skyhawks were built, and they remained in service with the U.S. Navy until 2003. The jet age marked a new era for military aviation, and Douglas Aircraft Company was at the forefront of this transformation. In the 1950s, Douglas developed the F-3D Sky Knight, a night fighter designed for the U.S. Navy and Marine Corps. The Sky Knight excelled in radar-guided interception and played a crucial role in the Korean War, 
becoming the first jet to shoot down another jet at night. The company also introduced the F-4D Skyray, a delta-winged interceptor designed to achieve high speeds and rapid climb rates. The Skyray set several speed and altitude records, showcasing Douglas's engineering prowess. It was the first Navy jet to hold the world speed record and was known for its exceptional rate of climb. Douglas continued to innovate with the development of the A-3 Sky Warrior, a strategic bomber designed for carrier operations. The Sky Warrior, nicknamed Whale due to its size, was the largest and heaviest aircraft ever designed for carrier use. It served as a bomber, electronic warfare platform, and aerial refueling tanker, demonstrating its versatility and importance in the US Navy's arsenal. Over 280 Sky Warriors were built, and they served from the 1950s through the Vietnam War. The Cold War also spurred advancements in missile technology, and Douglas Aircraft Company made significant contributions. The company developed the Thor missile, one of the first intermediate-range ballistic missiles, IRBMs. The Thor missile played a crucial role in the early stages of the space race and missile deterrence strategies. Deployed in the United Kingdom, Thor missiles were an integral part of NATO's nuclear deterrent. Douglas's expertise extended to the space race through its work on the Delta rocket family. The Delta rockets launched numerous satellites into orbit, supporting communication, weather forecasting, and scientific research. This era highlighted Douglas's versatility and commitment to pushing the boundaries of aerospace technology. The Delta rocket series, which began in the late 1950s, continued to evolve and launch satellites well into the 21st century. Despite its successes, Douglas Aircraft Company faced increasing financial pressures and competition. In 1967, the company merged with McDonnell Aircraft Corporation to form McDonnell Douglas. The merger combined the strengths of both companies, leading to the development of iconic military aircraft like the F-15 Eagle and F-A-18 Hornet. The F-15 Eagle, introduced in the 1970s, became one of the most successful fighter jets in history, known for its unmatched air superiority capabilities. It was designed to achieve and maintain air superiority in aerial combat and has an impressive combat record, with over 100 victories and no losses in air-to-air -air combat. The F-A-18 Hornet, a multi-role fighter introduced in the 1980s, offered versatility and reliability serving as the backbone of many air forces worldwide. The Hornet's design allowed it to perform both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions effectively. The 1990s brought new challenges for McDonnell Douglas. Despite the success of the F-15 and F-A-18, the company struggled with the development and sales of other aircraft, including the MD-11, a successor to the DC-10. Financial difficulties and competition from Airbus and Boeing further strained the company. In 1997, McDonnell Douglas merged with Boeing, forming one of the largest aerospace companies in the world. This merger marked the end of the Douglas Aircraft Company's independent operations, but ensured that its legacy would continue under the Boeing brand. 